Hi everyone, welcome to Revental Motors. This is our 2016 Mercedes A220. It is the AMG Motorsport Edition, the Patronus Edition. So, the likes of the wheels, you've got the Patronus coloured outer edges all along the bottom of the bumper there as well. And then some interior bits. Super high spec car, this one, as far as A classes go. You've got front and rear sensors, uh, rear camera that does sort of not quite a 360 effect, um, probably like a 180 effect I, I would say. So you've got the gloss black mirror caps, all gloss black around here, pan roof that opens up, cruise glass on the back, you see the stripes you get from, from there. Um, obviously we'll jump inside and talk about it properly in a second but yeah lots and lots of options on this one. So if we start off in the back, obviously you've got the Alcantara and your door cards, the matching sort of green stitching through there. Everything is lovely and clean, half Alcantara, half leather. Three seats, two full-size outers with Isofix, and then one with half seat in the middle. The rear sensors there. The camera is tucked away up here. You've got the green down the bottom there as well. The A220D. Decent sized boot, again clean and tidy. And then the interior, you've got things like electric memory seats, that's for both driver and the passenger. They are heated as well, we'll see that in a second. Nice flat bottom steering wheel, you've got power fold mirrors with electric adjustment, the electric windows. Um, you've got push to start just there, so as long as keys in the car, that'll work. Obviously, you've got auto lights and they are auto full beam assist as well. Um, I'll tell you what, if we just fire the car up and then yeah, it's easy there. You've got just when it focuses, auto full beam there, 93,085 miles to be exact currently. See no warning lights, got the stop start saying that it's not on because it's it's not, it's turned off. Uh, seat belt parks and stuff, and then headlights. Now you will notice this one does also have ambient lighting, so you've got it there, you've got it just in here, you've got it in the foot wells in the seat bits there in the back of the seats up there rear bits obviously not the easiest to see in daylight um you can see just a little bit of blue down there as well you can adjust the color of that just through here ambient lighting color so you've got all those different colors on the wheel and then you've obviously got brightness and everything like that because it is a 66 plate it's the facelift so you've got the better updated screen it's a lot nicer to use than the older ones so you've got full nav there um, this does have full Bluetooth connectivity as well if you get a media. There you go, Bluetooth. Um, radio is DAB, FM, and AM. Uh, oh no, it's not DAB, sorry, just FM and AM. Uh, heat seats in the front, three different temperature controls for the driver and the passenger. Got your dual zone climate control just down here. Ooh, too powerful, air con blows cold. Got your you know, different temperatures for the driver and the passenger, as you can see there or you can sync them together to run on the same, just like that. Um, that is currently where I've got one of the keys with a bit of storage in there. Um, you know, 12 volt in there as well. A couple of cup holders, pop that up. Two interface bits for USBs, uh, and then a little bit of storage in there as well. Obviously four pan roof. Got your cruise control stalk down there. It's flat bottom steering wheel, or your wipers, and gear selector on that. So if you do like what you see, full details, full spec available on the website with plenty of photos and then please do give us a call so we can assist you with your purchase. Cheers everyone.